What is good, Mama Squad? And welcome back to our channel. So I don't know if you guys have seen our last video, but I told you guys we were updating my vanity room, and I'm actually sitting on a new purchase that just came in today. We've been updating it literally the past week. We still have a lot that's coming in and a lot that I want to show you guys, but I don't want to show you guys until everything's completed. I kind of want it to be a full reveal. But we'll show you like the back of the couch. So this is what the couch looks like. Okay, it probably can't tell, but it's very pink in person for some reason on the camera and on video it looks just look at my shirt that's what the say it yeah. should be the same color but for some reason it looks more tan yeah but either way I have literally been putting this couch together for the past hour we and both been she held it she did not help well it I had to, we had to either do one or the other hold or put on because you gotta hold it up. So basically I did Either help. way, it's done. And it's out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. I literally cannot wait to get it done. But I'm glad because it, it actually fits good in this room. And yeah. we have a lot to come. So stay tuned. And if you, like she said, did not watch our recent video, we put up a green ivy wall, which looks freaking awesome. Yeah, I have yeah. a lot coming. So as you guys read by today's title, I'm basically going to be doing a girl talk in front of Bill. So you get to sit here, listen to me talk to the Marvel Squad, you know. Do I get to comment on anything if I, if I object or if I have any comments? Yes, but you have to wait till I'm finished talking. You <laughs> okay. can't interrupt me. Okay. But basically, this is a way for me to connect the Marvel Squad on a different level, and like they're just family, and I just want them to feel like they have like an older sister to talk to, or an, a younger sister, or whatever. Snap give came some, in. Give some life advice. Oh. Snap came Snap in. Snap came in and said Say hi. Say hi to the Marvel Squad. What up, Marvel Squad? So I actually did a girl talk video, I think a couple a month or so ago. So make sure you guys go watch that. I may have answered some questions that you guys want to know. So I'm gonna answer some different questions today. But I want to do some ones in front of you because I have some funny, I have some funny ones that it's like just funny. I'm not scared. Shoot. Doing. So this was a most asked question. You guys wanted to know this. So period topic. We're going to get on the period topic and how periods work, how to apply a tampon or if I'm a pad user, everything period. So you ready to listen to this period talk? I've been around you for five years and I'm a brother of two sisters. But um, I have a tampon right here and I'm going to basically show them <laughs> how to use it. So I've already, I already know how to use it. She's already made me figure out how to use it on a TikTok. So yeah, I, did. I already know my way around a tampon. Okay. Anyway. Anyways, so I first started my period in eighth grade, and I'll never forget it. I go into the bathroom and notice there's blood I've on my. I've never known this. I never told you this. You've never told me this. Oh story. wow! So this is a story that you don't know. So I started my period in. I think it was going into freshman years, like eighth grade summer, and I started my period. I don't know if that's too late. I know. At school? No, I just started at school. Oh, right I was gonna home. say, for the first thankfully. time, that had to have sucked. No. Whoever, like, it happens in public. Yeah, no, thankfully mine happened at home. I don't really know the age group of when you should start your period, but I started mine in eighth grade, basically. So, I was at my house, at my mom's house, actually, and I go into the bathroom and I notice there was blood on my underwear, and I'm like, Mom, I started freaking out because I didn't know what it was, obviously. Like, I knew I was going to get my about period. Periods. Yeah, but I knew that, but I also didn't know for sure. So I asked my mom, I'm like, did I get my period? And so she told me to, like, because it's gross, but she told me to stick my finger up. Okay, there. okay, okay, okay. We don't need to know that. So I can, if God. I see if I can. <laughs> Did you cry? This is girl talk video, Did you so cry? being honest. Um, I remember my sister, Meg, comes in and my mom goes, Megan, please do not tell anyone, like don't tell anyone. And you know what she does? She runs outside and tells all the neighborhood kids that I got my period. Meg is like that. Yeah, though. she is. Show my she, stepbrother, she, yeah, my stepbrother she doesn't the time. just like hold a secret. And yeah. you do that too. So I was you embarrassed because I walk outside and everyone's like, you ooh, done the same thing. you got your period. You would have done the same ooh. thing to your sister. No, I wouldn't have. Yes, you would have. Uh, That's such cat. You because can't, Mariah you literally, I'm not even kidding, Mariah literally will say something even though you're like please don't say like don't tell anyone she'll be like oh well, I already told Meg They'd be like, oh she's my sister and then like Meg tells well, someone, now I tell later. everyone I tell her everything but it's Meg don't tell Mariah secrets that you guys don't want the whole world no to hear, the whole she'll, world she'll though blabber them out I only tell whoever. my close friends and Meg anyways back to my period so after that, I was like, my periods were actually really good. I didn't really get super bad cramps until I started taking birth control. And I don't know, this is another topic, like am I on birth control? Do I use birth control? No. So I actually used to be on birth control. I, and I you remember that. this because you remember how badly it affected me. I had the worst mood swings. I feel like I'm still moody, but it's not as it's not as Well, hyper. half the time you would forget to take your birth control yeah. pill, first of all. So you wouldn't even take it out of Actually, time. no. I was more consistent with that than my anxiety medicine that I'm on. But at the end of it, you were not consistent at all. Yeah. So on top of not being consistent on birth control, it made her like more moody than Mariah is when she's hungry. So I tried out, so I was on this one birth control and then I went to a different one because I was like breaking out and I, it was like that time of the year or like that 
age where you start breaking out. And so I went to my doctor and I said, hey, like, do you know an anxiety medicine that helps with acne? And I started going on this one birth control called Yaz. I think that's what it's called, Yaz, Y-A-Z. And I started getting symptoms. And you remember my dizzy spells that I would get. Remember we were at the lake house and I literally, when I was sleeping, it felt like I was falling through the bed. And I, I told you the yeah, other night, yeah, yeah. I woke you up at 4 and I said, babe, if I don't feel better in the morning, can you take me to the hospital? No, I it, thought Mariah, I was dying. Mariah would literally get like these episodes where she she was she just freaked herself out. I feel like it was also a little bit of anxiety. And no, this stuff to go along. With no, though. this was like this was more extreme than anxiety. No, like, no, it definitely was, but I feel like that also like made I it worse. felt like I honestly felt like I was dying, and I'm not trying to scare anybody who is on birth control because birth control can really help some women. And but for me, my experience, it just didn't. It really affected me in a negative way. So I got off of that, and after I got off of that, that is when my periods started going downhill. I got the worst cramp. And it just the, keeps getting worse. And yeah, worse and at the time I was babysitting and I literally had to like cancel my babysitting because I could not get out of bed. I was curled up in a ball like this. So I experienced the most excruciating That's when you were on birth control? After I got off. Okay, okay. The first month after I got Isn't off. Is birth control supposed to not make you have a period anymore? Well, no, you have more consistent, you know when your period's going to come. Like it has but I thought they're lighter period. or something, right? Yeah, they are. It's, it's better. That's why people go on birth control to okay. help with their periods. But for me, I went on it for other reasons for, you know, I didn't want to get pregnant. Yeah. I just know like after my birth control that's when my periods were so bad but now my periods honestly are really good I do get bad nausea I do get cramps the first two days you barely get cramps anymore I, I, think I don't even know the last time Mariah has had bad cramps like yeah. within the last like couple months but it's mostly just nausea that's it that's basically it but another question about tampons am I a tampon or pad user I okay nothing wrong with pads I just personally don't like pads because I hate feeling like I'm sitting in my blood. I don't know if any other girls like that, but for me, I just don't like that. So I had my mom teach me how to use a tampon. Oh, and that yeah. was the hardest thing ever. My mom used to actually have to do it for me. She did it for me for a couple times because I was Is so scared to stick this up. Do a lot of moms do that? I th for my mom helped me like that. We were close enough to where she taught me. She stuck it up there, did all that. Okay, okay, okay. But I was so scared due to a lot. I remember your mom. Wow, I know. taking one for the team. I remember practicing in the bathroom trying to stick one of these up here. It's scary. It's very scary for your first time, but I promise you these are so life-saving. I also, I know some people are like, don't sleep in it with them at night, but I sleep with them at night and I just change it throughout the night. I get, I get up and pee like four times. Um, no, it's just some people forget. It depends on if you're consistent with taking them out. Yeah, Mariah night. literally wakes up at like every other hour of yeah, the night sometimes. seriously, I so. do. So I'm, I'm basically getting up to go pee anyway, so. And not calling out my sister, but I did. I, what, the reason why I was asking if you were crying, but when my older sister first got a period, I remember because we were down here in Florida, actually on vacation during Christmas. We were at my grandparents' house and and I just remember she started bawling her eyes out. She was just <laughs> crying so hard. And uh, like my mom, like they had to run to a store and get like stuff. And yeah, she, I was, didn't cry. she was super embarrassed for some reason. And I was laughing. I'm like, <laughs> why is that like a bad thing? But, no, it's, I honestly, I feel like some girls just cry because they feel like it's Maybe she was crying because we were all swimming and then she couldn't swim. I feel like because we were all swimming and maybe and she wasn't because it was like a heated pool and it was super dope, super nice. But anyways, yeah, that was my story. So. I know many of you guys are like, well, how, can you teach me how to use a tampon? Like for people that don't have that mother figure or older parent figure in their life that can help, I'm gonna be that older figure. I feel like it's self-explanatory. So basically, right? You stick. Okay, so this is the hole. I oh, know this is this is gross. Okay, okay. do it on me. Now put your <laughs> finger. Do your finger like this. Hold your hold your finger like this for me. So like. <laughs> okay. So you stick this. It's not always. Applicator. Like that. Do not push this yet. You stick the applicator in like this, okay? <laughs> and then once you get to this, show Wait, up, you can see it behind the once scenes. Once you get, once you see this. This is behind the scenes right here. Once you see this, then you push it up Wait, there. you're blocking it. You're blocking the view. There. Okay, well you gotta push it up there. <laughs> then you take the, out. usually it comes right out. You take the applicator and it sits in there like that. It's in there like this. Yeah, it's in there like this. Oh, you don't want that that much loose out. You want a little bit of strength. <laughs> you want to get lost. A little stream. And then you obviously pull it out like normal. What happens if it gets stuck? It shouldn't get stuck. But it what might get if stuck, but you just yank that. Well, you're holding Babe, it too tight, it's Bill. stuck. You have to yank it out. There's too much. It's blocked oh. up. There you, and there you go. And also, don't be alarmed. The tampon does expand. It kind of opens up because once you're like fluids and- Can you not weed that in my face? Stop. I, I heard that Snip tampons it. expand Snip like three it. times their size. 
<laughs> no! Get that out of here. Okay, I can't lose it because what if the cats get that? They would definitely not like that. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically, I hope that kind of helped on that topic of things because I know that was the most asked question was the period. I feel like that's self-explanatory. And if, if it's not small, like you just got to grab one and you got to practice. Yeah, and I just want to say there's nothing wrong if you do. You First time I did it, it was easy. Yeah. No. Not like, um, yeah, you know what I mean. Like, first time I, Mariah had me do it into a water bottle. But that's different than putting it up you. No, it's no. not. Yes, yes it's it not. is. It's, up, it's upside down. Yes, it is. Right you push that, Phil. Oh Babe, it is no different. It is different. You're Honey. pushing it down this way or you're pushing it up but this way. you're Either not way pushing it up you, so it's different. But You're it, able to see it. It's a lot harder when you have to go like this. I feel like it, I really, I don't know. Anyways. I don't know. I just want to say there's nothing wrong if you do use pads. A lot of people use pads. Don't feel like that's gross or nasty. Like, it's all up to what you're comfortable with. It's just for me, I prefer tampons, and that's just how I like it. All right, another question is how to get over an ex. And before I even say anything, I want to know how you get over an ex first. I want to hear, I want to hear about you. Why? You have an ex, too. Okay, yeah, but I want to hear how it comes out of your mouth All right, first. if I say how, how I, my view, then you you gotta say well, your obviously, this is a girl talking. All right, girl. Girls, all right. This is for every. Honestly, is for anyone. How to get over an ex? Now, I'm not. I didn't plan this. I'm just gonna wing it. How I would get over an ex is figure out why they are your ex. Did you break up with them or did they break up with you? Wow. Once you girl. figure out the reason, if they broke up with you, then you wonder, okay, why did they break up with me? They either found someone new. They're not interested anymore. They just don't want to be in a relationship. Now, if they found someone new, that's when you can be upset because basically they're a liar and they, they told you that they would be in the relationship for a certain reason and then they dumped you to go on to the next person, which is honestly like, you know, the most pissed that you should be. If they just don't want to be in a relationship right now, that's a lie because wow. any guy that says they don't want to be in a relationship wants to be in a relationship with someone else. So that goes back to the first one. So I'd be super upset if he either does want to be in a relationship or found someone new. And then third, not interested wow. or became unattractive you have from a you. a lot to say. That means he never loved you in the first place. Wow. Because if he's unattractive from you for you doing something or changing or like you got skinnier or bigger or whatever, that just means he never loved you from the start. And he only has one spit image. Basically Guys, like. he just took so all that, the words out of us. You just that's gave a one whole part. freaking That's one speech. part. One part! Yeah, that's if he breaks up with you. Now, if you break up with him... Oh my god. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So, how you deal with that, though, is, you know, you obviously are going to be sad. How does the girl talk, get over the ex? Talk, you just want to whole change friends. it. Yeah, talk to your friends. You're going to be really sad. Talk to your friends. Talk to your mom, if you're close. And uh, just kind of, like, find something positive, like a Netflix show. Or if you like arts and crafts or playing piano or something. And just take your emotions out on that, you know? Okay. Now, wow. if you break up with him... Okay, babe, we got it. We no, got that it. was if he breaks up with let me, you. Let me just go. Let if me you just... break up with him, then you shouldn't be sad, because that's your freaking fault. Wait, what? Yes. Yes, they have a right to be spade. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, oh, but that God. leads into Wait, other... Same. No, that leads into other things. Hold like, on, hold the on. The reason hold why on, you break on, up with hold him. Hold on, Listen. Did he cheat? You're wrong. Did he that's cheat? That's false. Did he change the Listen. way he was? Listen. Lie. Shush. I feel like if I was to end things with you right now, okay. I would still be just as hurt because I I've been with you for so long that it's like breaking up with your best friend. Unless you, never, you never unless you never thought of us as best friends or never loved me. If it was someone you hated and you couldn't stand, but either way, no matter what side it is, it's always gonna be hurtful. It's always right. gonna be a sad moment because it's still, you know. Right. So how to get over an ex? I think we heard enough of your side of the story. You but honestly, I give you a lot of credit that you knew all those facts. Like it honestly That's shows what kind of man sense. you are. It's just common sense. Okay, big old man. We're gonna have to do a boy talk now because you got a whole lot of words to say. Boy talk for the girls. So I would say how you get over an ex, know your worth and know that a guy out there will love you for you. And whether it's you that broke up with him or you know he broke up with you, just know that there is somebody out there that will give you just the amount of love and attention and affection and... And everything happens for a reason. Yeah. So you guys might get back together in five years. I met this one couple the other day that I was hanging out with because I was out with my friend. They actually were best friends from like sixth grade. Wow. She never really was interested in him. You know, they probably dated around a little bit and then they got back together, like they got together like years later. And it's like, you never know how life's gonna end up. You might, you know. And just also think of it as God has a plan. Like God puts people in your life for a reason, whether they come or go, or whether they stay or leave, because you know, they're lessons in life. They're lessons that, okay, this man came in my life, but we didn't work out. What can I find in the next relationship? And 
just keep growing. It's all about growing and, you know, just look at it as a life lesson. Boom. I think both of our explanations yeah. were pretty golden. much golden. Um, another question you guys had. What is my my boob size? Your boob. Are you asking me if I know? Yeah, what's my boob size? I think you're like a B. A B? A B. Okay, 32, 34, 36. What's the low end? 32, I think. Of, of Bs? Bs. I think 30, 32. You're definitely a 34. No, I'm a 32. Well, it's a 30. It feels like a 34. Um, I'm only answering that because I do have small boobs. No, you don't. I would say I have you a good have size perfect, boobs. They fit your body. That they fit, fit my body. body. Exactly. Like they fit perfectly. They're not too big. They're not too small. They're just they're good. They're good. But I am right. They were bees. I'm surprised you'd let me answer that. Why Sitting wouldn't right I? here next Why to me. I? I don't know. Okay, this is a question, but I want to know what you like first before I answer it. Okay. Okay. Do I prefer being shaved down there oh or not gosh. shaved? Are we really going through this? Yeah, these are girl talk questions. These are every girl goes through a shaving time of them. Like it's either they like, you know, your legs shaved, your armpits, I think, like I you think, like shaved or not shaved. I think it's easy for you to forget to shave. So sometimes like it's not. You like both? Oh, you're asking if I like. You like you like shaved. Well, obviously or not shaved? shaved because like it's just like soft. Soft, yeah. It's like baby skin. You know what I mean? Okay. It's just like feels good. So okay, well I shaved, like hundred percent. I don't know, and it's just cleaner. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like like my leg looks dirtier because it's you know look at my foot looks cleaner than my leg because yeah, right. my foot is you know yeah. doesn't grow hair my leg does so it's like it just looks cleaner if you. You're I prefer shaved. to be shaved and I actually get laser hair removal so I've been going through my progress I feel like with that. Should shave. Huh? I feel like everybody should just shave unless they're just lazy or they're not dating anyone. Yeah. <laughs> like I but I'm getting laser hair so I'm about to go through all my sessions soon and I'm about to be bare as a baby's bottom. And her skin's also, not gonna be able to. Uh, regenerate hair. If you're wondering how to shave, I'm just gonna show right here. So you just like prop your leg up and just, you know, do a little <laughs> swifty swift with your shaver. Oh, wait, you kind of did it. I, I kind of did it remember in that TikTok video. Remember? You had them to me, I can't see anymore. Remember my TikTok video? Yeah. You just gotta get in there. Just a gotta little. get in there a little and you gotta <laughs> really show it. But, all right, here's a good one. Have I ever gotten bullied? And if so, how did you stop being bullied? So, I feel Are like you we- bullied? Oh yeah. I feel, you've never told me that. Yes, you? I've been bullied. Oh wait, wait, keep talking, because I might, I might, you might have told me. I, I've been bullied a lot. Like I've had people make Facebook pages about me saying kill the twins. I've had, I've had like all, I've had people bully me to the point where I had to like leave class. For what? Being I a don't twin? know. But no, just like being a hot twin. I think it was just more of like, I don't know if it was like a jealousy thing or if it was them going through a bad time, but I just got bullied. Like I did. And I had a lot of friends in high school too. And I think that's what also made it worse is because if I was in a fight with somebody that would be talking and drama and like I just there was just bullying and I'll never forget during my high school when I what got drunk for the first time and I was at a high school party and I did I'm gonna just gonna show this embarrassing story so I was at a party and I got really drunk I, and this was the first time I was like I'm going to this party I'm getting drunk because I never gotten drunk before so I really wanted to get drunk so I get drunk and I get I literally drink half of a UV blue bottle and half of a UV cake which those are vodka guys so those are strong like those like straight liquor yeah she drank and I drink that within under 30 minutes and because I was I was impatient and what you don't want to do is you want to slowly build up to the drunkness no no you don't yeah you don't want to chug any no, bottle no, of anything no not so even if you a are, regular beer or something if you, you don't are chug. if you are not in that drinking age yet don't drink but if you are getting to that age just make sure that you it, it hits be, you it, like, yeah if you chug something it'll hit you like a train yes so don't Mariah chug. just wanted to get hammered right away so I was when just she a, she chugged it it just hit her like a train yeah and she had like almost alcohol poisoning right yeah i did but the thing you, is honestly. is i was so around people that was just so peer pressure that i felt like i needed to but basically what happened was i knew i needed to throw up and i was all the way downstairs so all my i had like four people carrying me upstairs and i threw up all over this kid's wall my dad ended up picking me up because my sister was so scared and i was breathing weird i blacked out i don't remember any of this and i woke up in the ambulance were right in front of my face my dad was scared i had alcohol poisoning and that I <laughs> yeah. almost died basically. I mean, that's not funny, but that's like crazy that and so you would do that. <laughs> Uh, you know that age so when I went back into school the next day I was so embarrassed because everyone everyone's school so you know what they would do and I know they were just joking but it was kind of bullying because I already was embarrassed they were all making puking noises when I walked down the hallway <laughs> 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 
all the way everyone was doing that's it. so bad but that like come on yeah but just know that if you are getting bullied don't change yourself just know that those people are unhappy with their own lives and they and they want to take that out on you and don't take it personally I know it's hard to take it personally but just know those people are going through it themselves and they feel like they need to come to you and target you but I'm telling you the best way to eliminate a bully is to ignore them and act like you're not phased if you act like you're not phased if you just laugh it off and you just ignore them I'm telling you they're gonna move on to the next person yeah I feel like everyone like to bully. has gotten bullied at one point yeah. even if it's something little or something huge like you know you just gotta you gotta learn that like they're literally just doing it out of spite because they're either jealous or they have nothing better to do because they're just low eyes exactly and if you are a bully then you know you're not gonna say it but don't you know just be nice to others yeah, you never know yeah. what they're going through at home and it's so crazy how people on social media look like they're doing okay but there's a lot of things that go behind the scenes that you don't know about yeah, we got bullied as a couple yeah. starting all of our social oh, media yeah. and everything like so all many... of our friends would make facebook yeah, or not Instagram all but like account. a lot a lot of old people you know used to make fun of us and used to you know kind of bully in a way yeah they made Even like it fake a, it was Instagram. a light bullying it was like they're you know making fun they of make you. fake instagrams and they go they would be like oh didn't know that the people in my high school would be filming youtube videos yeah and these basement. are like 20 year old people yeah like 19 20 year old 20 years old like come on you're out of high school you need to stop that's why i'm saying do what you love and don't stop doing what you love even if people judge you because if we stopped because of the bullying we would not be here we would not be filming videos and in literally our dream lives yeah so don't stop what you're doing because people are judging you that's like the one key in life is to stay true to yourself and stay positive mm -hmm. through it all i think this is going to be like the last question oh God. because i feel like we've talked a lot and i feel like i so answered a lot of my questions in our last girl talk video but i wanted to ask different ones in front of you this one's juicy i'm a little nervous to talk about this one just say it okay i just want to say Bill is ha wasn't my first, okay? He was my second, so sorry, babe. Okay. I was the second too, which is kind of cute because we left each other. Oh yeah. Okay. Was your first time really different than your first time with Bill? So was my first time oh, yeah. with my ex different than you? And Better. I dated my ex for three years, so I was in a really long relationship. It's, it's like my high school experience. It was definitely a lot different. Any different person is gonna be different. Yeah, because you know, it's not the same person. The difference is I actually did it in the house at my dad's house on the couch rather than. Oh, that's so nasty. I'm so sorry, Dad, if you're watching. This. Rather than a car. <laughs> we did it in the car for the first time, so it was a lot different and. I don't even remember. We're not gonna talk about that. Mariah is not safety standards were way lower than they are these days. No, I was safe. I think because I was on birth control, so it was different. I was on birth okay, control. Okay, I guess. Yeah, it was a lot different. Honestly, I feel like I enjoyed it with you more because I'm. Aww. Because it's more. Because yeah, she knows she has to say that because she's with me. No, I don't. Good. I mean, I'm not bashing my ex or anything, but I'm just saying it's been great with you. So. Well, especially like because you know it's like. Obviously, that was five years ago, so you really like you don't really 100% know like the feeling. Yeah. But like you know. I remember the whole thing. How? Yeah, me too. But you know, since how we how far we've came. Yeah. That like it kind of meant more. So was Looking your first time it, different? Was your first time different with your ex and me? Like was it? Oh yeah, of course. But which one was better? Like you me? know, obviously you because like you know we love each other now and like looking back at everything, it's like you know we've been together five years, so like our first time like looking back now means more. Yeah. You know, then like when we first you know did that we're just started dating so you don't really know where our future is gonna go but exactly. now it's like oh yeah that was like 100% fast yeah but guys we're gonna end this video right here I hope we answered most of your guys' questions but in my other girl talk video I answered I was on talking for like 30 minutes in that video and I answered so many more questions I think I did pretty good yeah right? you did I, I, know, you credit. I know this stuff come on I've, yeah. I've grown up around girls three girls yeah. in the house including my mom and now I'm dating Mariah and you know Nothing she has new. a sister. My sister lives out here. So it's like I'm always dealing with chicks. Exactly. And I can't like get I can't all the information that comes out of their mouths, like when they talk, she's on the phone with her friends, just no filter. Just like to always talk about girl stuff. So me it's and like, Julia, if you guys don't know this, me and Julia is like our best friends. We're like this. I swear, we like we talk every day. So he hears about all e of everything and anything. <laughs> anything. Everything. And Meg. I'm on the phone. Those are like the two people I'm on the phone with every single day. And she, they have no filter with Mariah, Mariah has no filter with them. It's it's alright, that's how life is. So I'm just like always hearing this stuff. So it's like it just makes sense now. But guys, the camera is actually about to die. So before the camera dies, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Comment down below any other questions. I'll try to go through the comments and answer different questions that I didn't answer. But we really um, appreciate you watching this video. We hope you enjoyed. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. And stay tuned for my vanity room tour because that's coming up. That's coming up soon. But we will see, see you in the next video. But, but until, until then, then peace. Love, love you guys. guys.